All right, so hopefully this is recording. Um, I tried this before, and apparently the microphone wasn't on. Anyhow, I want to show you how to uh, use the um, physics classroom concept builders, how to access them, and some examples for this first one we're assigned, which is on vectors. If you go into Google Classroom, and the assignment, basically here we are, and there'll be another thing down here in, the, in this assignment that has like this video on it. For right now, if you click on that, you go to the home page of the physics classroom. You need to log into your account. Hopefully, you've done that already. Now, yours will look a little bit different down here. <clears throat> and again, you may need to type in your name, email, password again, uh, but you may not necessarily have to do that. Um, yours should say tasks and courses around this middle spot down here in gray. You click on that, and it'll pop up with three tasks. Those involve three different concept builders. You're going to do parts of each of those. And I'm actually going to have give you a paper in class Tuesday, October 4th, which gives you the details about those. So the first one is vector direction. And I'm asking you only to complete the part vector angle from the nearest axes. So if you launch the concept builder, looks like this. Wait for it. It should pop up with your email. If it doesn't, that means you're not logged in properly and you need to go back and make sure you're into your account. At any rate, once you do that, there's three different possible um, uh, concept builders you can do within the task. We're only going to do this one, so rotation angle from nearest axes. <coughs> Use the protractor to determine the direction of the vector. Express your angle as the direction relative to one of the two nearest axes. So you can click on this and move it. When I look over here, this is going to the west of north, and it looks like each of these is 15 degrees. So I could say that is 15 degrees west of north. So I just keep clicking on this until I get west of north. And then I'm going to check my answer. And that away. That's the way to do it. This next one I'm going to get purposely wrong. So if I move up here, I look, and that's 15 degrees east of south. Now you could also say 75 degrees south of east. Physics classroom knows this and it'll accept either of those. But let's say screw it up and let's say I say 15 degrees south of east instead of 75 degrees south of east. That's going to be wrong. ODRATS. So when you get that, <clears throat> you're going to go back and you'll notice this is turned from yellow to red. So this is the one I was on before. That means you're going to have to get two different um, things correct to get that back to the star level. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Again, that's 15 degrees south of east. But let's say I'm unsure about this. I can go here to view directions about how to do concept and uh, builders, or I could go to the Help Me page, which actually is quite helpful. How to think about this particular question, about this question, Oh, that's not clicking back up. Learn more about the physics classroom tutorial. Fundamentals about vectors. <clears throat> At any rate, so I'm going to say this. I'm going to check my answer. That seems pretty good. So you're going to want to finish with this level completely. I'm going to go back to the main menu here. And it would not have saved things. If you get that level complete, this will show up as a gold sort of cup. The next one I'm going to ask you to do is head to tail vector edition. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. There's information here. <clears throat> so you can go to the apprentice level and do get 6 out of 10 points, master level 8 out of 10 points, both apprentice and master levels for 10 out of 10 points in the standard. You do not need to attempt the wizard level. So let's say I want to do one in the master level. So if I look at this, if I add G plus vector Y plus vector T, there's a whole bunch of things you can click down here. So G should start going by going to the southeast, and then I should have Y going to the northeast. That does not show here. So this is vector G, and then that shows that blue resultant right after that. Same way, this does not work. G, okay, Y plus T. So that does look correct. So I'm going to check that. Now, if you notice, there's usually a sneaky one that looks almost like this. So this vector started here, and the resultant, um, the resultant starts at the beginning of the first vector and ends at the arrow tip of the last vector. 
That's why I think this is correct. But I bet the next one, has, or one of these, has almost exactly the same thing, but the vector is pointing the wrong way. So if I start here, go down to the right, up to the right, up to the left, I should end up up and to the right. And this is showing my result being down and to the left. And that is incorrect. So I think this is the correct one, so I'm going to check that. Once again, there's a help me menu, there's directions. You can also go to the tutorial part of the vector, the, the physics classroom to help you out. So that's my example of doing one of those. The last concept builder is called vector addition. Just like the last one, if you do the apprentice level only, you can get a six out of 10, master level only eight out, eight out of 10. Both apprentice and master levels, 10 out of 10. You do not need to do the wizard level, but if you want, go for it. So I'm going to go here. This one looks a little different. Uh, we'll do one of these. So I've got all these vectors here. And I'm giving you a sheet of paper with this printed out on the back as well as some practice graph paper just to help you draw things out. Because so it's really hard for me to do this on computer. So what it's saying is if I add these three vectors together, JJ plus C plus E, which letter of this would I get? And again, there's a help me menu. Yep, there's definitely a help me menu. Okay, so JJ is down here. It is three units down and two units to the right. C is one unit up, one to the left. And E is one unit up, two to the right. So when I look like this, JJ and C and E have four units to the right, but one to the left. That leaves me with three units to the right. I have three units down, but two units up. That leaves me with um, one, one unit down. So I need to be looking for a vector that's one unit down and three units to the right. I think that's going to be W. Let's check it out. Whew. That's good, because that's just a pain in the butt to do that. I think drawing those out on a piece of paper will be easier for you to do. So again, you're going to go back to the main menu. You shouldn't do that until you finish a particular level. Once you finish a level, this will go gold, and then this will go gold. So take a look at the points uh, for you to choose which ones you, you do for whichever points uh, you want, whether it's 6, 8, or 10. Thanks. I think that uh, completes my tutorial.